We have new information this morning about the attacker on Ohio State's campus, the possible motive police are looking into right now. Breaking news out of Columbia this morning where a plane carrying a Brazilian soccer team has crashed. How many people officials say survived? Uber drivers plan protests all across the country. Why employees of that ride sharing service are joining forces with airport and fast food workers. And rain, rain, it's going to come today. I'll let you know how long it's going to be sticking around and how long you'll have to have your umbrellas out coming up in my weather authority forecast. And slick conditions for the morning commute and already an issue out along the Beltway. I'll have the details and the best option to get around it coming up. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. Good morning on this Tuesday, November 29th. I'm Patrice Sanders. And I'm Tom Rogers. Of course, it's raining today, which means Cyber Tuesday, if you will, is in full effect again. Stay inside and push and, click. And just so you know, some stores are still honoring that. Oh, yeah. They're pushing the Cyber Tuesday. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, that's out there. So we've heard. So we've, we've been told. <laughs> Well, of course, we've got your traffic and weather together every 10 minutes. Let's start with Jonathan Myers and a look at the forecast. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys weren't online shopping yesterday either. So, no. you know, no, and not, not again work. today. And this definitely morning. not doing it today again. All right. Radar shows us that we have some rain moving in from the west. It's coming in across Gaithersburg here in Baltimore. Now uh, Frederick getting rain Gaithersburg Bel Air. Pretty much if you're watching us, you're seeing some showers and some wet roads. So there you go. Pick up time at the bus stop. It's 50. 50. Yeah, it's going to be a warmer start. 57 at lunch. We're going to have some clouds and rain, and it looks like rain at drop off time and 60 degrees. Coming up in 10 minutes, your morning commute forecast. Now, Candace Ole with our traffic catch. Thanks so much, Jonathan. We are talking about that rain, of course, that's impacting the morning commute, so just make sure that your speeds are down wherever you're traveling. And we also have an issue out along the Beltway stretch. It's a disabled vehicle on the Outer Loop Lanes. It's right near 70, but here's the problem. We're down to 32 miles per hour, and if you can, I would exit off at Liberty Road or Reisterstown Road just to avoid that. Outer Loop side of the Beltway overall, 95 to 83, 12 minutes, 7 minutes, 83 to 795, but that delay comes from 795 all the way down to 95, 15 minutes, 40 miles per hour. Tom. 601, we are following two major breaking news stories right now. First, out of Columbia, 76 people are dead mm -hmm. after a plane crash there. That plane was carrying members of a Brazilian soccer team who were headed to the Medellin International Airport. At this hour, Colombian police are confirming there are five survivors. Officials have not said what happened to the plane. We do know, though, that the area was hit with heavy rains and thunderstorms. Also breaking this morning, severe wildfires and smoke are just blanketing parts of Tennessee as they're seeing wind gusts of up to 70 miles an hour. And that includes areas around Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, where an immediate mandatory evacuation is underway in some of the areas. National Park Service says the flames are growing and continue to get closer to that town. New information in the investigation into the attack at Ohio State University. In fact, this is a picture of the suspect, Abdul Artan, shot and killed during that attack. He was enrolled as a student at the university. Now, according to the student newspaper, he was studying business management. Well, this morning, investigators are trying to determine if terrorism could be the motive behind that attack. Megan Gillen is here with more on the timeline being pieced together now. Good morning, Megan. Morning, Patrice and Tom, and good morning to all of you. Not even 24 hours ago, just before 10 a.m. yesterday, chaos erupted in the heart of campus, right near the buildings for science and engineering programs. After a car jumped the curb, plowing into a crowd of people, some of them thrown into the air. Uh, one more emergency. Hi, I'm at Ohio State, right outside of Watt Hall, and there was a guy crashed his car into a bunch of people and ran out with a knife chasing down people. Okay, where is this? It's Ohio State University, right outside of Watt Hall, in Woodruff. Well, the attacker, Abdul Razak Ali Artan, was an Ohio State student of Somali descent and a permanent resident of the United States. Police are now searching.